Chef Castro, what tools in the kitchen does a chef need to succeed? The tools that I need to succeed in a kitchen will be a spoon, a knife, and a pot. With two pots. And a good attitude. A good attitude, yeah. <laughs> We're here at the Charter of Restaurant of St. Helena to, uh, to do a potluck dinner tonight with Lake Creuset. There's really no need for any of the dishes to work together in any way. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, we just allow people to come and, and cook, cook what they want. So this salad in particular is pretty representative, I think, of what we do, always focusing on what is available to us from our farmers. We started this farm 11 years ago with just this little piece here, which you can see. I don't think we had any built-in irrigation. We had like hoses and we more or less trenched the original garden ourselves. Luckily, Zach came along, and as you'll see, like, expanded the entirety of this. What's going on, guys? This coop is on wheels, so we'll be able to move it throughout the farm to use it for fertilization. You know, talking about other farms around here, of, of that, the fact that we get to work so, so closely with chefs and they get to work closely with us, we're each bringing creative elements to the table. Um, and, and I think that's where you get, I think, special product. Oddly, a lot of the most wild or more California native things are going to be the more well-grown things that you'll see. You know, nature does a much better job than we do sometimes at growing things, so um, we just kind of let it go. Chef Ryan, what tools in the kitchen does a chef need to succeed? This tiny little spatula that I have. Yeah, that's it. That was my grandmother's. Nice. And a good attitude. So we're not going we're not going to succeed then. We're not, we don't have your, I just need the spatula. <laughs> I've, I've always noticed we, we do use some Lake Crusade at the restaurant and it has the, a lovely crossover between being able to use it at home and in the restaurant. I use it a lot for everyday, everyday cooking for, uh, especially I, I like big, big pots to do, like sauces are gonna be there for, for hours. It's important to invest in high quality cookware because if you buy lesser products, it doesn't last as long, you end up buying more, you end up spending more money. Also, I think the final product w wouldn't be the same. Spend money on the, um, on the quality of the ingredient and, and nice pot. There's a degree of ongoing engagement slash panic that a company is having to be cooking all the time for what's coming out of the earth challenging, but I think it makes us far better chefs to have to do so. 